Upon reaching the age factory, Travis didn't give much consideration to the tasks ahead. Having encountered numerous sewers akin to it previously, he promptly began his work. However, what awaited him would soon exceed his wildest expectations, prompting an immediate call to the police. Unbeknownst to him, the sewer would reveal itself as an exceptional hiding spot. Engaged in his typical routine, Travis detected something remarkably unusual. As he poured a substantial volume of water into the sewer, a customary method to dislodge obstructions, he inadvertently exacerbated the issue. Instead of resolving it, the water level surged, prompting Travis to acknowledge his grave error. It swiftly became evident that an impediment obstructed the sewer's passage. The flow of water was severely impeded, and its appearance was anything but ordinary. Travis found himself ensnared in a deeply disconcerting situation. Swiftly realizing the gravity of the situation, Travis promptly contacted the authorities. Upon their prompt arrival, the police expressed gratitude towards Travis for his proactive measures. Left to ponder the unforeseen complications his job had presented, Travis mulled over the enigmatic contents concealed within the peculiar sewer. Furthermore, he questioned the profound appreciation displayed by the law enforcement officers. Travis, an experienced worker, arrived in the early morning at a new job. He was told there were some problems with the sewer. The sewer itself seemed very familiar since he had a lot of experience, but something seemed odd about the location. It was an old factory looking almost completely abandoned. The factory didn't seem to be still in production and there were barely any lights on. Travis himself also didn't bring any company. After working all these years, he preferred to work alone. Looking back, he wished he had brought some company on this given day. Through the years, Travis had come to understand that a larger inspection was necessary. After all, there could be complications in the sewer that could lead to nasty problems. Travis walked around the factory and wondered for what purpose the sewer needed to be fixed. The factory was completely shut down and Travis realized something odd might be going on. But being the professional Travis is, he stopped asking questions and started right away. With little need for a quick solution, he pictured himself taking it easy and still being done early. Travis started flooding the sewer with lots of water, a usual technique to flush out the problem. This is where things start to go south. To his surprise, the water doesn't return to the starting place. Was I wrong about this sewer? He asked himself. Then, the water finally arrives at the starting point, but the water seemed unusual. When it came back, the water seemed to be colored and had an extremely unusual look to it. Travis doesn't hesitate. He realizes he might need help from one of his co-workers, or at the very least, more equipment to look into this strange situation. Travis decides to leave the factory for now, takes his car, and drives toward the storage of his work. Soon, another complication to this mystery would occur. To Travis's luck or the thought, he ran into Evan, an experienced employee. He asked him for a few minutes, and Evan responded cheerfully, Sure, how can I help? His attitude would soon change. Travis quickly explained, and once Evan understood what place he was talking about, the expression on his face drastically changed. He then proceeded to leave the building with no attention to Travis at all. What just happened? Travis was stunned. What just happened? He tried to think of wrongs he might have done, but was certain about his healthy relationships with his co-workers. At the same time, he couldn't just ignore the alarming signals. He was determined to find out about what was going on, and this turned out to be the right thing to do. For the second time this day, Travis arrived at the factory. He parked his car and rushed toward the sewer. Travis couldn't help but feel annoyed as well. He wanted to be home by this time, but home wouldn't be on his mind for a long time. When Travis arrived, he saw the ribbons around the sewer being cut, and he quickly realized someone had been there. Travis started to run around in the factory looking for the visitor, and after a while, started to scream the name of Evan, the suspicious co-worker. But it was to no use. At this point, Travis wants to know who the visitor is. He decides to put up a camera and restore the ribbons around the sewer. Once he is sure the camera is fully operating, he leaves the factory and drives off to a parking place nearby. Once Travis arrives at the parking spot, he opens his phone to look at the live footage of the camera. Travis kept looking out the windows of his car to make sure he wasn't followed. It wouldn't take long before his patience would pay off. Strange behavior, the suspicious person was acting very strange. He used his spotlight to closely examine the water while he stirred around in it with his other hand. What in God's name could be in there? Travis asked himself. Once the man stops examining the water, he starts looking around the area. 
He uses his spotlight to make sure he sees everything like an experienced burglar. All of a sudden, he halts, and Travis comprehends that the man has stumbled upon the reinstalled Rivens and even noticed the camera. Without delay, the man takes off running. Would the police arrive in time? Travis opts not to gamble and swiftly starts his car. In mere minutes, he reaches the factory. Upon arrival, he catches sight, from the corner of his eye, of a black van hastily exiting the premises. What should Travis do now? Deciding to release the suspected individual, Travis resolves to return to the sewer, armed with the necessary equipment. He intends to unravel the mystery once and for all. Hastily arranging everything, he is interrupted by the sound of multiple cars pulling up. It's the police. They swiftly enter the sewer and unearth a stone painting hidden within. Explaining that the water's impact on the painting caused a peculiar coloration, everything falls into place. The police express profound gratitude for Travis's discovery. Thanks to his timely intervention, they successfully apprehend the criminal before they could evade justice for good.